Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena and in today's video, we will be cash stuffing part of my second paycheck from my full-time job. So I do have the money all laid out here and the total we are stuffing is $617. So let's get right into the video. Um, I am going to start out with my wallet. Okay, so starting out with groceries, this is going to get $60. So we have 20, 40, and 60. Next is gas, and gas will be getting um, $50. So we'll just do a $50 bill. All day daycare pizza money um, is going to get $2. And all day is my son. On Wednesdays, um, the daycare provides pizza, and they each have to pay um, $2 to um, get pizza. Next is coffee, and coffee is going to get $20. Okay, Personal has the $10 um, from last week because I didn't go in the office at all this week. I was just under the weather. So I'm gonna roll that over into next week. And then for my son's smoothie money, this is going to get $20. So this is for smoothie and um, like on Fridays when I pick him up from daycare, we will stop at like Wendy's or McDonald's and just get um, some french fries because he loves french fries. Like, So yeah, so $10 would be from smoothies and then $10 would be like uh, miscellaneous spending. Um, and then moving on to the dollars, we have a couple dollars from this past week. So we have one, two, three, and four. So $4 going to my dollar saving challenge. And that is everything for my wallet. Okay. Moving into my pink binder. So starting out with my son's daycare, this is going to get $50. So now daycare has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 590, and 600. So 600, which is fully funded for October. I will um, continue cash stuffing this with any additional income that I do get. Next is household, and this is going to get $5. So now we have 55. So I know September is like a magic month for a lot of people. Um, I don't get those because I only get paid twice a month at my full-time job on the 15th of the month and on the last day of the month. So yeah, it doesn't matter, you know, however many weeks there are in a month, I only get paid twice. So I do get very envious of those that do get a magic month. So let me know down below, do you guys get magic months at your, um, at your job? Because I don't and it sucks. So L Day's necessities, my son's necessities, going to get $5. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, and 85. We do have to buy some more pull-ups and um, nighttime diapers. And I also have to schedule his haircut because his hair is getting pretty long. Next is Capone, our dog. Capone is going to get $5 as well. So now Capone has 20, 40, 60, 65, and 70. P.O. Box, we are skipping. Um, buffer is going to get $5. And that is all that it has. This um, this envelope did come in handy. Like if I go over in um, a certain expense, then I can pull from buffer. So I forget what I use buffer for, but I use it for something. Um, next is date night, and date night is going to get five. So now we have 20, 25, and 30. Beauty is going to get $10, and that is all that it has. I did go get a fill. Um, I think two days ago. Next is clothing, and clothing will be getting $7. So five, six, seven. So now we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Home decor is going to get five. So now we have 15. Budgeting and stationery is also going to get five. So now it has $10. Next is gifts, and this is going to get $10. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 70, and 80. Annual expenses is going to get 10 as well. So now it has 200, 300 in the bank, and then 320 and 330. Uh, we are skipping electronics skipping YouTube, and then moving on to Christmas. Christmas will be getting $10. All right, so now it has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, and 530. And so let me go ahead and fill out this tracker really quick. So today is the 15th. 
happy Friday. I was supposed to get paid today, but um, the direct deposit hit my account like Wednesday night, but I haven't had a chance to run to the bank until this morning when I dropped LJ off. So that is everything for my pink binder. Let's set this right here. Okay, moving on to my family binder. Starting out with my son's savings. This is going to be getting $10. So now he has 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 920, 940, 960, 970, and 980. Just 20 more dollars until we reach 1K. Next is personal, and I am going to get $10 as well. So now I have 20, 40, 50, and 55. R, my boyfriend, is going to get $5. So now he has 20, 30, 35, and 40. Moving on to Jaden, my nephew, he is also going to get five. So now Jaden has 100, 120, 140, 145, 150, and 155. And my nephew just turned six months old um, a couple days ago, which is so crazy. He was born in March, so time just like flies, seriously. Next is siblings, and siblings is going to get $10. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, and 80. And my mom is going to get $20, and that is all that she has. I did pick up some groceries from my mom. That's why I de depleted her envelope. And then I also depleted parents because um, there wasn't enough envelope in my mom. So parents is for, like, my dad and my bonus mom, which is my boyfriend's mom. But, it, you know, I kind of use them interchangeably. Um, next is parents. And parents is going to get $5, and that is all that it has. Grandparents is also going to get 5 so now we have 10, 15, 20, and 25, and grandparents. All right, so that is everything for my family binder. Last but not least, we are moving into my tan binder. So starting out with cash savings, this is going to get $5. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, and 75. Vet expenses is going to get five as well. So now we have 25. Family fun is getting five. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 70, and 75. Medical is getting $10. So now medical has 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 180, and 185. And I do have to take out some money in, from medical because um, we did get a couple um, hospital bills or co-pays or whatever you want to call it from um, from over the summer for the couple times that we had to take my son in um, to just get like blood work and exam because he did have a little limp um, after we came back from vacation and yeah we didn't know why but it kind of like just went away on its own but to be safe we did have to get blood work and like an x-ray and oh, it was just a whole mess but now the bills are like slowly coming in um, we do have insurance but our deductible is pretty high i think it's like 600 per person so until that's met, we will have like these miscellaneous co-pays and you know doctor bills and all that all that fun stuff. Next is car and car will be getting ten dollars. But yeah, it sucks that we have to pay like a monthly insurance premium and then on top of that like all these co-pays and deductibles. I just I don't get it. Um, but car has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 100. Okay, moving on to debt. Debt will be getting $50. So 20, 40, 10. So now it has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 110. And I don't have like an end goal in here. It's just whenever I decide to make um, a credit card payment and if I have a balance, I will just grab this money from in here and make and put it towards um, whatever payment I'm making. Next is investments. Investments will be getting $10. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 95. Yay, so five more dollars and I will make a deposit into my Roth IRA. And travel is going to get 31. So now travel has 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 195, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. So 200 dollars in travel. And um, we are thinking about going on a cruise, on a family cruise in March, but it might be like next summer. So I'm not, we're not 100% sure yet. But definitely a cruise is in the works. So I need to start stuff stuffing this. Cause I know a cruise can be pretty expensive since it's all like inclusive. 
So I would be paying for myself and um, from half, half of my son, whatever expense that entails. But yeah, so that's travel. Dream Home will be getting $20. So now Dream Home has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 520, 540, and 550. And I'm actually going to take out 500 and just deposit it into the bank. And I'm not going to put a placeholder because um, this is just extra that I'm stuffing until, you know, and then this just goes into our house savings until we are ready to purchase a home. Skipping miscellaneous. And then moving on to the saving challenges, starting with the bat challenge. She's a batty challenge by Budget with Gigi. This is going to get $10. And let me color in a bat. Each bat is $10. And this is a printable um, saving challenge. So you can just go on her Etsy, print it, download it, uh, I mean download it, and then print it. But we have 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70, right? No, 20, 40, 50, 55, and 60. So 60 out of 120, so no. Oh my gosh, 60 out of, yeah, 120. So we are halfway there. And then moving on to the Hocus Pocus Challenge. This is by Spooky Budget. Um, this is going to get $20, $23. I can't talk today, you guys. So 20, 1, 2, and 3. So now we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, and 62. So we have $62 so far. Okay, so let me go ahead and scratch off the next set of numbers. Let's see if we can finish all three of these today. So, all right, so we have a four. Three, so that's seven. And 11 so let me go ahead and clean this off all right so I did scratch off four three and eleven which is eighteen dollars so we will stuff eighteen dollars for next time and this sister is done so next time we will work on this pink um, Sarah challenge which is so funny because her name is Sarah but the actor actress Sarah Sarah Jessica Parker is also Sarah um, I think Sandy budget with Sandy was telling me how she just finished Sarah and I was like wait that's funny because you know, both of their names is Sarah. Anyway, moving on um, last to the 100 envelope challenge. We are stuffing $84, which should be the remaining remainder here. So let's see here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, and 84. Perfect. So 84 is this number right here. Okay, this is what we are Working with, we have three numbers left on the 80s and three numbers left on the 40s, which is so exciting. And then we'll have 50s, 60s, and 70s. So let me add 84. And I think if I make this next deposit, I will have um, reached over $3,000. So if I remember, I will put a screenshot somewhere here when I make this deposit. All right, last but not least, we have the dollar savings challenge and we have $4 going in. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and then I'm gonna cross off four here. So one, two, three, four. And I like having a tracker for my dollar saving challenge, um, just so every time this tracker finishes, it's $50. And then I just put the $50 um, somewhere, which is usually in my son's and nephew's savings. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, long and chaotic video. Maybe not long, but a little chaotic all over the place video. Um, it is Friday, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, your weekend, your week, whenever you're watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.